What is up guys? This is Josiah from We Talk Maple. And the slogan of today's video is I don't have one, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, remember to submit your slogans in this in the comment section and uh I might use it in uh the next video. So yeah. Um anyways, uh what I want to talk about in this video was uh something I missed in a previous video and um the previous video I'm talking about is uh, what to expect in high school and uh, in that video I talked about bullying I talked about exams I talked about teachers but I never really touched on uh, some other uh, some other uh, subjects uh, that I really do feel are important and um, kinda deserve videos of their own so in this short video series I'm gonna kinda be handling each one of those and I think there's only like two I missed so very short video series, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, what I'm doing in this video before I get to the topic uh, is uh, Kenta PQ. It's really good, really good, <laughs> really good. Uh, it gives you lots of uh, charm EXP, and if you're level 190 plus, good EXP to train on. So yeah, anyways, uh, back to the video topic, uh, and that is drugs, and drugs in high school, more specifically. And um, they kind of play a big role in high school. They, like the first week, the first week I was in high school, uh, I know I knew who was who who was dealing who was uh, using all that stuff and it it's a little weird coming from middle school like middle school there were pot like in my middle school there were like three pot smokers <laughs> and uh, it it didn't really like we just kind of looked at them and were like look at these jackasses look at these moron uh, pot smoking losers because of course in middle school you kind of learn you kind of are forced to learn that um, you know, drug, old drugs are bad, and uh, they just cause nothing, nothing but harm. You're gonna, you're gonna die. You're gonna go to hell. No, maybe not that. Maybe if you go to a Catholic school, I don't even know. But uh, yeah, they just, it, you kind of like, it's reinforced really hardcore that uh, drugs are bad for you, and uh, they are just terrible, terrible things. And uh, when you're in high school, you're gonna learn a lot of that is lies. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying go, I'm not saying go use, uh, use drugs or anything like that. But uh, you, you realize a lot of them are lies, and the reality of drugs uh, become like the choice like like you know what I might do that and that becomes a lot more realistic that uh, that feeling like you know what I could I could do this this is uh this is something I might be interested in and uh, I, I don't do drugs in case uh, <laughs> any of you guys were wondering I have not taken part in any illegal substances of any kind but um, yeah it's uh, it, it does play a huge role and um, this is why I want to talk about it and I want to talk about how to avoid it and just kinda like how to get by how to get by and not uh, and uh, kinda like dispel some of the the myths the myths, the myths uh, surrounding it and first of all let's talk about the myths and that is that um, someone's gonna go like hey do you want some do you wanna smoke up no one is going to say that to you because no one's going to give you free drugs, uh, especially not at high school because everyone's broke. Uh, they might like give you a joint and like if that's your friend, they're not no no stranger's going to come up to you and go like, "Hey, smoke it up now or die." No one's going to no one's going to do that to you um, unless you go to a really messed up school. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you have to go to a messed up school to have that happen to you. But uh, yeah, no one's going to do that to you um, mainly because it's expensive at, or expensive for high school kids at least, and uh, they're not going to just burn money see what I did there uh, they're not gonna burn money uh, like that and just give it away so uh, yeah no one's gonna do that so you uh, to you so don't be worrying that uh, some crazy drug dealer is gonna come up to you and like try to get you high because it's not gonna happen what might happen though is uh, if one of your friends smoke or multiple of your friends smoke um, they might uh, want you to get high with them and uh, to that you can simply say no like um, it's not that hard. If they're your friends, you can you can say no to them, and uh, they'll kind of just accept it, or they'll just keep whining and just wa always want you day after freaking day, every freaking day they ask me. But uh, you just have to say no, and uh, yeah, they'll just kind of like accept and walk away. And uh, you really don't understand what peer pressure is. Like in middle school, I never, I was just like, no, I'm just gonna say no. If my friends smoke, I'm just gonna say no. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say, and uh, that's gonna be the end of that. But when you have it happen to you, you're just kind of like, you know what? Especially when it's someone that you wouldn't expect. Like, you just go like, no, that's a good kid. He's never gonna, he's never gonna smoke up. And then when he does, you're just like, wow, what do they have to do to convince him to smoke? And, uh, it kind of, kind of gets at you and you're like, you know what? Maybe I will do this. But, uh, 
what I do to avoid um to avoid that temptation of uh I feel like a preacher. No, not that temptation, but like that wanting that I want to freaking uh, do this because everyone's doing it, or it seems like everyone. Everyone's not smoking up, but it feels like that at times. Um, but what I do to avoid like wanting or not wanting, but uh, to actually giving in, God, I feel like I hate I hate sounding like this. I feel like a preacher or something. But uh, what I do is I kind of like remind myself I don't even know what I'm doing when I'm not high. Why would I want to get high and not know what I'm doing to like the next level of not knowing what I'm doing? I I I couldn't. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. I'll, I'll do it, or I, I might do it one day uh, when I'm uh, fully in control of myself and I know what I'm doing all the time. But uh, till that day comes, not gonna happen. But uh, yeah, guys, that's kind of the end of the video. Uh, do you guys like it? I, I have one more video uh, like this to come, but uh, I don't know if I'll do it if you guys don't like it. And uh, here is one genre of music, or <laughs> didn't have or enough like footage. But like, uh, yeah, guys, no, no, no. Um, that's the end of the video. No, I rock, didn't have a slogan. That. Damn it! I don't I have like a little confession to make. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I forgot something. I, I forgot be, something. Or um, maybe I still am. Tomorrow I used to is be, uh, Friday. Uh, what? Friday the and that's tenth thing. Like, and I um, I'm gonna be doing to the live stream Q and A. So if you guys want to check that out, too, but I uh, definitely be, uh, link in like, the description that I don't listen of the to video because, I post uh, tomorrow. Uh, just, and uh, it will be telling you guys uh, when it is. It's probably gonna be around twelve ish uh, Eastern Standard uh, Time. I find you guys gonna ask me questions. It's gonna be you can ask me questions on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. And have, uh, uh, in game, it's, it's in gonna be in game. Like gonna be online playing. And, and uh, uh, yeah, I eventually guys, found the video. one Peace. Uh, because I was looking at a review. And what's interesting is that review, I knew it was gonna be a hip hop album, but for some reason, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna check this one out. And it had the hip hop title.